Hi everyone, welcome back for another Unraid video. Today we're going to look at how to enable hardware transcoding for our Plex container using Intel CPUs with QuickSync. We'll look at basic Plex container setup, enablement of QuickSync on Unraid, Plex, and verifying that the new setup is working correctly. If you have a QuickSync capable CPU and you don't have hardware transcoding enabled, then this video is for you, so stick around and let's get started. Now to get us started, the first thing we want to do, if you're not even sure whether or not you've got QuickSync on your CPU chip, I'll leave a link for this down in the description below, but you can come to this website right here and you can do a filter search to see what chips have QuickSync enabled on them. So right here, this first filter, I've got my processor selected in the first filter. It's a drop down menu. I've highlighted QuickSync video and the second filter is either yes or no, I've got yes. And you can be more specific with this if you have some more details about your CPU or you can scroll through the list here. It's a rather long list. Um, just to give you an idea, let's do, I know I've got a 3.4 gigahertz chip, so I'm gonna do processor base frequency minimum scroll down here to 3.4 and then for maximum just to narrow it down I'm gonna also do 3.4 and I'm looking for this guy right here Intel Core i7 3770 so once you've verified that you've got your that you do have quick sync enabled on your chip you can go ahead and close this window and switch back to our Unraid dashboard. Okay, so now diving in here, the first thing I'm gonna do is open up a terminal window. Now, if you don't have your quick sync enabled, you don't have to do this. I just wanna verify to you that I do not have it enabled right now, so I'm starting from a clean slate. So I'm gonna run cd slash dev dry, and you can see there's no such file or directory. Now, if I did have the quick sync enabled, you'd expect to see something like this come up in the console. And of course, I don't have that. So let's go ahead and close this terminal window. And the first thing I'm going to do is switch over to the Apps tab, Community Applications. And I'm just going to do a search for Intel. Okay. Right here, we can see the Intel GPU top. That's the plugin that we want to install. And the cool thing about this is there's basically no configuration needed at all. Now that that's done, that's going to go ahead and enable our driver. So now if I open my terminal back up, type cd slash dev dry ls. Now you can see right there, card zero and render d128. Now in the old days, <laughs> you used to have to make a modification to your Go file, and you'll probably still see instructions similar to that uh, about adding a mod probe and enabling the dev dry through your Go file. Uh, but you no longer have to do that. This plugin completely replaces any modifications needed to the Go file. The next thing I want to install is the GPU plugin. GPU statistics and this is just going to let us know off the bat that our GPU is working once we get it under a load. It's a really handy utility. It runs all kinds of GPUs. It'll handle uh, NVIDIA, it'll handle Intel, whatever you need. So now that that's installed, let's switch over to our settings tab real quick. We need to enable right here where it says vendor, change me. We're going to switch that over to Intel. And if you like, you can go through these settings. I'm going to change Celsius to Fahrenheit, but you can adjust these however you see fit. The rest of them, for me, I'm just going to leave as they are. I'm going to hit apply there. Done. Now I'm going to switch back over to my dashboard. 
And if I scroll down, I can see this new widget here on the dashboard. And right there it'll show the GPU load and everything. So the next thing to do is to enable hardware acceleration on our Plex container. But I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick how to do that from a fresh install. And there's a specific container that we want to use for Plex. Now if you're watching this in the future, there may be more than one container that offers hardware transcoding or hardware acceleration. As far as I'm aware right now, the only one that offers that is this one right here, the Linux Servers Repository for Plex. So let's go ahead and download that one. And yep, as you can see right here, there's the instructions for modifying the Go file to enable QuickSync on an Intel computer. But we don't have to do that. All we have to do is enable the Intel GPU use per these instructions down here on the bottom line. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this right here. Be sure to get the dashes in there. Dash dash device equals dev dry. Command. So I'm going to hit command C on the keyboard. Switch to advanced view. And right here on the extra parameters line, I'm going to hit command V to paste that in. And then just go ahead and map all the regular folders where they need to go. So my movies go there. TV goes there. Now if we weren't using a GPU for this, we could go ahead and fill this in as the optional transcoding folder. This would be a great place to put in uh, RAM path, um, you know, TMP or dev shim. But since we're going to be using QuickSync, it's a moot point. So now that we've got this all set up, we can go ahead and pull the container down. Okay, now we can go ahead and open up our Plex container. Now I've already got my Plex server here for this video set up, so I'm not going to dive into the details about the initial setup. The settings that enable the hardware acceleration can be done after you've configured your initial server setup. So let me get signed in real quick and then I'll catch you on the other side of this. So now that we're in on our server dashboard, we need to go up here to our settings. And over here on the far bottom left, we want to click on transcoder. And right here, it's just a simple check mark. Use hardware acceleration when available. Save those changes. And let's run a quick test. Well, let me go back to my home page. Let me play an episode of this. Um, I'll get the settings adjusted and then we'll come back and check how we're looking. Okay, so I've got that stream running right now. I'm transcoding that down from a 720p stream to a 480. So on the top right up here, I'm gonna go to activity and then the dashboard. And right here you can see this little marker next to transcode where it says HW. That indicates that it's using hardware acceleration to transcode the video. We can also verify that now with the GPU plugin back on our Unraid dashboard. If we scroll down to the widget and right here, we can see it working away. The load percentage varies depending on the stream itself. And that's it, that's all there is to enabling hardware acceleration and on Plex with an Intel CPU chip. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. If you had a quick sync capable CPU and this is your first time utilizing it, I think you're gonna be very happy with the results. Keep in mind that by adding the Intel top plugin, this will also allow you to use QuickSync for other containers and allow you to get more out of your CPU. We've also got some exciting things coming to the channel soon. We'll be taking a look at how to set up a new WireGuard virtual router for our Unraid and requester bots for Discord and Plex, as well as some new updates for one of my favorite containers, Unmanic. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, have a great day. Thank you.